Good evening, I'm Shamika Neely. Monroe County election officials say there's nothing unusual about the fact it's taken two extra days to count the absentee ballots from Tuesday's election. As WTIU's Stan Jastrzewski reports, other counties using the same technology show it may be Monroe County's process that's at fault. In Monroe County, absentee ballots are processed using what's called a central count, meaning all early and by mail votes are processed by hand in a single location after the polls close. It's a very safe process, but also a very slow one. Volunteers were still counting absentee tallies Thursday, almost 48 hours after polls closed. Monroe County Elections Supervisor Ruth Hickman says the county uses the central count to help verify voters' identities. If you have to reconcile that the, ball the ballot matches the application. Are they really, you know, eligible to vote? Is this the mm -hmm. correct person? But Indiana has a voter ID law and forces even early voters to prove and verify by a signature their identities when they cast their ballots. So checking those again only verifies something the county should already know. In Gibson County, which also buys its voting machines from the same company Monroe County does, the count is split up by precinct, which speeds the process. Clerk Becky Woodburn says on the morning of Election Day, bipartisan teams of election officials deliver pre-sorted sets of envelopes containing absentee votes to the precincts in which those voters live. What we normal, <clears throat> normally suggest they do, you know, if they do them as you're not so busy. And that's why we take them when we do. We suggest, you know, you don't do it at noon, you don't do it at 4 o'clock, you do it in between your busy times. This year marks the second straight. Monroe County's vote has taken at least two extra days to complete. As of midday Thursday, the only county in Indiana which had not posted any results to the Secretary of State's website was Monroe. For WTIU News, I'm Stan Jastrzewski. It's been two years since a massive fire burned down several buildings on Paoli's Town Square. Residents are now celebrating the opening of a building that will replace much of what was lost. A building that includes a mix of commercial space and apartments is opening Tuesday, exactly two years since the fire destroyed a large section of the block in downtown Paoli. The nonprofit development corporation Hoosier Uplands pulled together about $5 million to build what they're calling the Phoenix on the square. Let's take a look at your weather tonight. Clear lows in the mid 30s. Tomorrow, sunny highs in the lower 60s. Tomorrow night, mostly clear lows in the mid 40s. Let's take a quick look at your five day forecast. On Saturday, partly cloudy, highs in the lower 70s, lows in the upper 40s. Sunday, partly cloudy, a 40% chance of rainstorms, highs around 70, lows in the mid 50s.